What up, nerds, and welcome back to The Haunted Hideaway, where we celebrate the crossover between tiki and horror. I am your host, Bartender Bob, and today I wanted to share a brand new cocktail with you guys that was inspired by the 40th anniversary of Frank Hindenlotter's 1982 cult classic film, Basket Case. If you haven't seen this movie before, it is not for the faint of heart, and neither is this drink. One of the main characters resembles that of a squished octopus and runs around New York City gnawing people's faces off. Uh, the premise of the movie is about these two now unconjoined twins, one of them resembling a normal human, the other living in a wicker basket that he carries around New York City, and the two of them are hunting down the doctors that separated them at birth and killing them. Uh, it might be a good idea to keep a greasy sack of cheeseburgers laying around after you have a couple of these cocktails, by the way, just to absorb some of the nastiness. But let's get right down to it. The drink consists of fresh lime juice. We've got some grenadine, fresh lemon juice. We got our Bacardi 8 and some Aperol. Uh, we're also going to garnish this with some cherries. Uh, we're going to start with half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. The juice is definitely worth the squeeze. And we're gonna drop that into our shaker. We need one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. We got that ready to go. Doing half an ounce of grenadine. Two ounces of the Aperol. And two ounces of the Bacardi 8. And we're gonna drop in some pebble ice and give it a shake. And we're gonna pour that into our little friend here. Top it off with some more pebble ice. And we're gonna garnish that with three cherries, one representing each one of the doctors they murder in the movie. We're gonna drop that in. And we're gonna give it a sip. Cheers. Mm. Very citrusy. You definitely get the herbal flavor of the Aperol on the back end. It's not overwhelming though. Two ounces of Aperol probably sounds like a lot, but it blends really well with the fruit juices. It makes a really enjoyable cocktail. Um, I highly recommend checking this one out. If you guys do make it at home, you know we got the recipe in the show notes below. Go ahead and put it together. Let us know what you think. You like it, you don't like it. Again, pair it with a big sack of greasy cheeseburgers. You won't regret it. And if you end up watching Basket Case, let us know how you like it. It's filled with um, that classic grindhouse gore. It's, again, not for the faint of heart. Um, check it out, though. Until next time, cheers, fears, and what's in the basket.